Hey guys, guys. Welcome, welcome to working with K and E. Today we will be making a dun dun dun, dun sunset porcupine. As you can see, it has a lot of detail in it. Over here where it comes to the edges, and it's really beautiful. And you can paint it, and it paints very well. Um, this is really nice. You could get this um, at the dollar store or um, other places. This is super beautiful and we painted the back for you guys to see how it will sort of look like except this side will have a bit more detail and it also lights up that's what this is for so what you would do to see it light up is that you'll take this white flip and pull it out like so. It's sort of, it's pretty, it's basically plastic. And then, it's going to be on off. And then you want to switch it to on. And then it lights up. Or it could be on off. Or it could be on on and then you just have to pull it off. Either one. You'll have to um, see. Look at that. So beautiful. And it looks even prettier with paint on it and color. And um, it's just super nice to have because you could put it on your on your desk or anywhere. It could be a little night light. It's super pretty. You could put it anywhere in your bedroom, anywhere in your office, or anywhere. It's super nice to have. You can really, you can really make this. It's super easy. And if you're wondering if we made the the wood part of this, we did not. We did get it from the store. Let's get started. So now we are going to be getting our paint brushes. Um, paint brushes. I recommend getting the big one. Ours isn't that big, we can get a bigger one. But I like this size because it's easier to paint with. So you get every single detail with it. Paint brush. I, I suggest the big one. And we are going to be dipping it in this nice pink paint. We made this pink paint out of our red paint and our white paint. So, we are going to be getting the tips of the porcupine's um, Spikes. We're gonna get the edges. So we're gonna be painting there. Like this. You wanna get the inside too, because you really wanna show that pink. You don't just wanna color the spikes because you wanna get that pink everywhere. Or you can even use a different color, but I want to use the pink color for this. So this is like going to be a girl. You guys can make it a boy, we boy girl. We we're just making this one a girl because like you see when I paint, I go from the edges, from the edges, and then it gets also gets on the spikes, which is what we want. So once you do that, you want to make sure that. All the spikes were painted so you know that you really get that pink color that you're looking for. Once you know that all the parts were painted, not all the parts, but this part was painted pink, the spikes were painted pink, then you can move on to your second part. Okay, our second part is going to Mm -hmm. And before we continue, you want to dip your paintbrush in your water. water. So the pink paint can go away so it doesn't mix in with your red paint. 
there you go. And make sure um the paintbrush is dry before you dip into the paint. And the paint will like it won't be paint anymore. Well, it will be paint. It will just be too liquid. So straight off. So you will want you want to use a paper towel or something to dry it off. With. And now we are going to get our red red paint. Dip it in. And you guys can see it up close. And then we're going to, to paint it here yeah. all the way down. And then another row will be red. And, and then, then or orange. And then a and then we'll start with the body of it. And what I love about this is that it's already outlined. So you know the parts from the body and the spikes. So let's continue. So we're going to start here. And it's okay if it mixes in with the pink because it'll sort of have like a, a mixture of a color in between. So it'll look really nice. And once you finish painting your entire thing, not like your red part, but like your orange and your ready part um you you can color over it if it's too light for you and it's not dark enough which is probably what we will do but that is totally that's totally an option i think we are done it looks pretty red to me it doesn't really blend it doesn't really blend it with the paint yeah but yeah and we'll also see when it dries because if it's really light it will Yes. So you might um, do the color it over it and maybe color over the pink again just so you, um, they see the difference. Okay. Now let's move on to the orange part. You're going to scrape, not really scrape, but take your red paint and just put the excess of the red paint on the rims of it or like in it if you can. And then you're going to grab your 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 water and then dip it in here okay, I'll clean off the red out because you need to put it in orange unless you have another one of the big um, brushes and you want to use that you can even use a medium sized one but I like using the big one because it works faster okay next we're going to be getting our uh um oh red paint <laughs> and make sure you do dry it off before you continue. Alright, now that we have our orange paint, um, we are going to dip it in and we are going to paint it over here. And even if you get your red on like another part, it's okay because it'll still look really nice. It will like blend together and make a nice color in between. Yes. Like we said. So as you guys can see, the red is drying and it's sort of mixing with the pink, making it looking like a pink color. And that's why we are going to paint over again when we finish painting everything. I like I like this. I like the colors because they look like um it looks really pretty and it's just really nice and they all go well together so um hopefully you guys like it like the colors we're using you can use different colors if you don't want to use these colors it's all up to you because this is well it's your hedgehog um and it just looks really nice sorry for the background noises so let's this looks so nice it is looking really pretty and because of the details that they put in here it's looking a bit better than this one but they all look they all look nice and it's just looking really neat only if this is looks so nice yes and um if you do a practice run in the back you um it won't look as neat as this because you don't have the lines to separate each from another, but it'll still look really nice. Okay. 
So as you can see, we finished coloring the red. So I'm just gonna put a nice light in for the body part. And I just love this so much because it just looks so nice and neat. And like, even if you do it, I bet it's gonna be nice and neat too because you have board, like these stuff, like the lines here, they're sort of like a border in my opinion. And yeah. So now you want to take your water and clean it. We are going to be using this next one, this nice pointy one for the body. Wipe it off. Um, the yes, paper towel. And then we're going to put it in the green. I'm actually gonna change it up and do this light green paint. It just looks better. And we're gonna put it where the feet are. It's literally gonna look like the hedgehog was stepping in like grass and yeah, has and grass stains on, on her. Or him, depending on. It's green paint, yeah. And you don't want it to be too much on it. You only want it to be on the rim. So I'm gonna clear it off a bit with the paper towel I had. And look at that. Look at that, it's really nice. It's coming together and you can see it's on the rim. Even though you see a little print of that, it will go away. Cause, so you can also dip it in a bit of water. And what I love about cleaning it off is that it kind of looks I, like grass to me. Yeah, same. Okay, I'm just gonna try to bring it up close and make sure it's nice and clear for you guys to see. It's pretty too up close, but it sort of looks like grass when you clear it off. It's all we're trying to say. But yeah. And you could either leave the body this color if you like it like if you like it like that. And you could maybe color this part green if you want it like that. Um but we are really undecisive because we don't know if we want to color it or leave it like this because it looks really nice like mm -hmm. this but we don't know if we also want to add some more color to it like green like light green for the body but let's do it let's do the nose right now yeah for the nose color we are going to be doing a going to be doing a like a, a really light light um color color or we can do white yes because white will also work splendidly and even though this is sort of a peach color um white will just make it brighter and we'll just make it really nice so we put our white in our little mixing area and we are going to get we're going to get the white paint. We suggest the medium one, the medium paint brush. And if you, you guys, you guys can't really see the white because it blends in with the palette. Mm -hmm. So we are going to color this nice, cute nose. And you see, it also has an outline for where the nose is, just in case they want it to color a different color. The white blends in with the color, but it looks nice. Yes, because it will also brighten it up. It can even clear it off was it if it um, if it went. got out of line. Yeah. This looks nice. I like the little white, the little white part we left on it. Yeah, we did smooth it out just so we can see the difference between the nose and um, the rest of it. So what you want to do it in your water, clear it off, then I it off. I love it because it looks like. Like yeah, it colors. has some autumn colors. The pink is a bit, and it's a bit of a warm color to me, but it still looks really nice. The red and the orange have more of that autumn um, color to it, autumn look to it. And it's fall, it's autumn. So, um, the orange looks like maple leaves. Yeah, 
So that's really nice and I really love it like this. Uh, you can change the color of the body. You might keep it like this or you might change it later. But I am actually really liking it like this. You can color it and, and it will look really nice too if you color it. But we just don't really have an idea what we want to color it. But we are going to add some little eyebrows to it it's gonna look really nice <laughs> so and funny but nice yeah too. so hopefully this turns out really nicely so, so wait. you want it find a the point the border we are going to be getting the pointy brush yes because this will work way better then one of the flat brushes. You're just gonna dip it in your red paint just so you really get a good amount of it. And it's gonna draw a little curve. That would be so flat. It looks so nice. Yes, and over nice. here we have a little green print. So we added green and then we sort of wiped it off but it had a print on it so it made a little smile and it looked really pretty and we're also going to be adding some little eyelashes let's, to it let's make the eyelashes orange okay probably look nice and make it pop <laughs> or we can even make it pink you can just be creative with this because it's yours it's not ours so make it unique make it yours make it a nice style that you would love. So we finished it. I love it. It is nice. It's adorable and so cute. So I am going to turn on the light to see how nice it would be. Ooh. Okay. So turn on the light. Whoa. It's cool on the back. Now we're going to see the front. I haven't really seen it with the camera, but so I'm pretty excited. Ready, set, Let go. go. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh, that looks so oh, nice. Maybe let's turn off the lights. And I wonder how it's gonna look. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's literally glowing. And we made the eyelashes, which you can't see because we did turn off the lights. So we can hopefully you see. guys like it. It's so amazing. Oh my gosh. I you love get, it so you guys much. I can't really see the color, but I like, like when it, light inside you see a nice light orange right there yes and we are going to color over it again so the color really comes out and you guys will see it when we finish coloring over hey guys we finished coloring over it the spikes are pink the lines are orange and red and like it's just so beautiful and the colors aren't really mixing in you can tell the difference just i'm loving it because even though I'm not blending in more like a sunset, you can see the different colors that will form the sunset. And I love it so much. Now I'm going to show you guys when it lights up. So cool. Hope you guys can see the colors like I do. So I'm going to show you how to light it up again. Usually this is in. So when this is in, you pull it out. This stops it from glowing when you turn it on. And then you want to flip the switch to glue, to on. And then it just start to glow. But remember to take this piece off if you want it to glow. And you can see the pink and the red. The orange not too much because of the light sort of matches with that. And it looks so beautiful, guys. I'm really proud of what we did. You can sort of see the eyebrow, eyelashes, the smile and feet, it's so beautiful. And if you were in actual like eye contact with it, face to face with it, you will see how beautiful it is. And it's just amazing. Now we are gonna show our family uh, how we did. And remember to subscribe and like if you wanna see more cool arts and crafts like these. And bye, remember to subscribe and like. Have a great day and happy Thanksgiving.